Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about three major cities in New Brunswick and we are also going to talk about which city is best to move for immigrants or for anyone who wants to come and live in Canada. So in today's video we will be talking about the top three cities in New Brunswick to immigrate. We'll give you the statistic, we'll keep our opinion to ourselves till the end, we'll let you decide with all the information we'll give you which city is best for you. So let's dive into it. So New Brunswick has a total population of 273,000 of residents living both in conventional, rural and urban cities. Its diverse community made incredibly easy by generation of immigrants to adjust in. Top sectors of this province are banking, fishing, agriculture, engineering. So out of those three cities, first city is Moncton. Moncton is the largest city of New Brunswick with the population of 70,000 residents that are living in there. It is one of the fastest growing city in Canada as well. It has a mixture of uh, English speaker and French speaker, but most of the French speakers are bilingual. That means they can either speak in English or either speak in French. And uh, the reason why this is the fastest growing city in Canada because it's only 40 minutes away from Nova Scotia and Nova Scotia is the is one of the biggest Atlantic province of Canada. The economy of Moncton is based on transportation industry, commercial industry, distribution, retail as well as IT industry as well. And the other big reason why Moncton is famous because it has only French speaking university which is called to Moncton. <laughs> called Université de Moncton. There you go. <laughs> but it also has other universities as well. So it's not like if you are a student and going to Moncton, you'll end up only studying in the University of Moncton, which is a French speaker. You'll have other options as well. So uh, let's talk about the expenses in Moncton. The general utilities, which is um, electric city as well, the total expense uh, for utilities is $155 a month for average household. Again, it depends upon how many people are living in the house or apartment. Rent in Moncton for one bedroom apartment, um, the total rent is about $610 to $720. The rent for two to three bedroom apartment is about $940 to $1,250. And the average food expense which include dine out and grocery is about $825 to $1450 a month. Every salary in Moncton is uh, $30,000 but um, here I would like to mention one thing that um, this is just a minimum salary so mm -hmm. there is a better chance that you are going to be making much more than $30,000 a year. Just to put this into perspective, we are quoting the minimum salary, which is $30,000 in Moncton. And this statistic we took from the website talent.com is related to this year, 2022. So the second city on the list is Fredericton, which is the capital of New Brunswick. And obviously it will have more job market in uh, governmental sectors. It also has the two largest university in the province which are University of New Brunswick and University of St. Thomas. 
That's why the academic sector of this city is also good for the job market. Being the capital of New Brunswick, most people prefer going there. Um, but one thing I want to mention here that there are not many French speakers in Fredericton. Most of them are English speaker. This is from our own personal experience. The time we have been spending in Fredericton, uh, we are talking about that. But if you want to see a, a specific video in Fredericton, we are going to be posting that up here. Make sure to go ahead and watch it, what that beautiful city has to offer. And the general utilities in this city, it's also very similar to Moncton City and it will be also similar to St. John City. It will be around $155 a month. It can go up to 250. It will always depend on your household. The rent in this city would be from one bedroom apartment will be around $880 to $900. Again, this is the capital. So the apartments are a little bit expensive. A two bedroom or three bedroom apartment will go from $1,100 to $1,400 a month. The average food per month would be around 780 or 1700 a month. This will also depend on how much you buy grocery, how big of a family you have, if you will be eating outside most of the time, it always depends. And then back to the average salary, this was taken from talent.com and it showed that as of this year, 2022, the average salary of Fredericton City is around 32,000 dollars a year this is again the minimum salary now the third city on the list here is saint john which is also home to canada and beyond yeah <laughs> it's our home city yeah i would love to talk about this city this is the second largest city in new brunswick with about seventy thousand residents living right now in saint john and just like moncton city this is also a bilingual city but uh, according to our personal experience we have been seeing um, a lot of english speaker here rather than french speaker um, and probably that's the reason why uh, we are more comfortable living here as compared to quebec or montreal i would be comfortable living in those cities too i speak french talk for yourself well good for you <laughs> <laughs> St. John job industry is booming due to recent development um, in the infrastructure and different project uh, proposed by the city of St. John. A big penetration in the job market here in St. John just because cities keep on announcing new development project that brings new immigrant, new people. We are seeing a lot of movement in between the country just because of these, um, the, these factors. Most of the city economy is built on um, shipping industry, fishing industry and tourism industry. And just like any other city in Canada, uh, IT industry is also growing very much. We have the largest oil refinery um, in the country here in St. John. The Urban Corporate is a big employer here. They have been providing um, different job uh, to the residents of St. John. They have a paper mill um, oil refinery as I talked about it before. Uh, they have different gas stations scattered almost all over New Brunswick. The journal utilities here in St. John are costing about $155 a month. The rent of one bedroom apartment is, um, is $628 up to $782. And it depends upon how closer you are to Uptown St. John because if you are living nearby Uptown, the rent is going to be higher as compared to uh, if you are living somewhere else in the city. So make sure to check out our Rent in St. John video. You'll have a nice apartment tour and you'll get to know about the exact price of rent in St. John. Two to three bedroom apartment um, are gonna cost you about $1,030 all the way up to $1,400. The average salary in St. John is a little bit higher than uh, city of Moncton or Fredericton. It's about uh, $33,000 uh, per year. We have also created a video on specific job market um, in St. John. We are going to be linking that up above here. Make sure to go ahead and check that out as well. So as you might all see that all these three cities are very similar in pretty much everything. 
It will be really a tough choice to choose between which city to go to. But again, every one of us have its own preference. Say you are someone who speaks French, you're probably gonna go live in Moncton because there is more French speaker there, there's the university that uh, educates in French as well. If your skill set is in governmental job market or academic job market, then you're probably gonna choose Fredericton. If you are like us, just loving the ocean, loving the oldest city, this country, then definitely you're gonna come to St. John. Um, so it's very hard to choose. And again, these three cities are very close to each other. If you are living in, an, in any of those cities, you're not bound to live there forever or you're not stuck there. You can always go over the weekend and check out the beauty of the cities. And by the way, we made a video regarding each city what are the things to do in every city so make sure you check those out it will give you actually a better feeling of which city you feel like you're living in which city will suit your personality the question you might probably be asking yourself so why these couple choose to live in saint john and i'm gonna ask osman why did we choose to live in saint john yeah so um the reason why we choose St. John because it's a multi-culture, it's very diverse. There is a huge Pakistani community living here um, and I wanted to live with the community here. Um, there are three different mosques in this small town of St. John um, that we can go and pray for Muslims. So the, the, this city itself, it's a small city, but it is very diverse and rich in culture. If you would like to have more information about all of these cities, we have made separate videos on each one of these cities. So make sure you go ahead and check out all of those videos so that you have a better idea uh, what each city has to offer. Um, but again, we love St. John, we are St. Johners, though we moved here just one year ago, uh, roughly. It feels like we belong here. This city has a very specific charm. It feels like this city has its own personality and we love St. John for that. And one more thing I want to mention here, there is no shame in saying that this is a very immigration friendly uh, province. The laws here are very easy for new immigrants, for new people and uh, this is also another reason why people choose to live in New Brunswick. And if you are, um, if you are thinking of moving to Canada, thinking of getting Canadian PR, you can definitely move here in New Brunswick and get your PR. This is it for today. We really hope that this video is very informative for you. Make sure you comment down below with any question you have and we will see you in the next video.